Hi everyone, welcome to this video entitled Tips and Tricks number one, Handling QSPIs Libraries. Today we are starting a new series entitled Tips and Tricks. And this will be a series of short videos explaining topics of interest very quickly. So these videos we will have a length of several minutes maximum. And I will try to explain some interesting ideas, some tips and tricks related to the topics of this channel. So today we are going to talk about handling QSPICE libraries. In this video, QSPICE number one, introduction and how to create new components, we presented how to develop new components for QSPICE. And at one point we said that here, on the property defined as library file, we placed the complete name of the library, so including the whole path to our library. However, this is not very convenient when we want to share our components with other people, because when they get these components, they have to edit this path and write the correct path for them each time because this path maybe doesn't exist in their systems or they need another folder in which place their libraries and so on. So it is better to just enter here on this line the name of the library without path and then we will instruct QSPICE so the program will be able to find the location of our library. So here are three ways to help QSPICE to find our library. The first one is just by placing our library in the same directory as we have our simulation file. The second way is by adding the library manually to the symbol and IP browser. So we go here, we do right click on this panel and then we can look for our library in the different folders and then add here our library and the program will show the components that we have in our library. And the third way is by using the lib path directive in the program. So in this way we can provide the full directory. For example, here we are doing dot lib path and then writing here the folder in which the program has to look for the different libraries. So let's see an example. Here we have our file that we want to run in QSPICE. I will open it. So here we have our circuit. This is our component. If I double click here, we can see the different fields of the component. And here we have the library in which the component is defined. But now we are not saying to QSPICE where is the library. So if I run here, we will see that there is an error. So it's not possible to open the file. So now what we can do, the first solution is to copy here the library in which we have our component. So we have the library in the same folder as our file. So now if we run the simulation, then we can see that the simulation is running perfectly and everything is okay. So this is one possible solution. But usually we prefer to have our libraries organized in several folders. So for example, here in this folder, we have the component itself, the comparator, and we have the library in this folder, which is in the QLibs. So now we can go to the program and write libpath and the directory in which we have our library, like this. So now if we run, it should be working fine. So we can see that everything is working because now we are instructing the program to look for libraries in this folder. And finally, the last possibility is to add our library to the symbol and IP browser. So we can go here to this panel, right click, add a symbol directory, and then we look for our folder. We select, as shown here, 
the corresponding folder. So the components appears here and we can run the simulation and everything is working correctly. Well, this is all today in this short video. I hope that you find interesting this tip. Thank you for watching and goodbye now.